In this video, I'm going to give you six advanced tips and tricks in Roblox Rival that's going to make you super good at the game. Some of them you might not have never heard of them. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hit the like, subscribe, and yeah. Now, so, some of these tricks don't work 100% of the time, but they can still help out in certain situations. Just things to keep mental note of. So if you're playing Arena and you're going against a tryhard that's using a sniper, what you can do is, I didn't pick the right class, but what you can do, because if you go up here and you kind of start like shooting, there's a good chance, especially during mobile, they're just going to just mow you down. They're going to mow you down. So what you want to do is get to scythe, is you want to throw a flashbang up in the air and then just rush middle and just really just start like just using the movement of these, of these objects and such and getting these like really like tight like areas where like most of your body's covered up and it's going to be hard for them to get you. Because if you use your scythe and you go up here, like you go, you go up here and you start like shooting, they, they have that direct shot to do some damage. Um, so what I like to do is I like to throw a flashbang and the flashbang, um, the cooldown is really quick. So if it doesn't work the first time, you can kind of just kind of camp out a little bit, kind of maybe get some pop shots right there and then throw it again and then try to, and then if you do blind them, come in and then just do that. Be careful. They might have a katana on them. Um, and if they do, uh, just wait until it goes down or use a slingshot or ray gun if you have those weapons. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind because when you go against really good snipers, it can be really hard. And the last thing you want to do is just kind of rush up in the open where they can just like, just snipe you right there. Because when you're up in that air like this, that they easily can just headshot you. So yeah, so definitely, um, keep note of that one. Now the second advanced tip and trick that someone might not have told you this, you might've seen it somewhere, but I'm going to tell you right now is to play 1v1s or 2v2s, specifically 1v1s. Um, for me playing this game, you know, a lot, I'm level 113. I've played a good amount of matches under my belt. Um, when you play 4v4s and 5v5s, you tend to get players that aren't as skilled. And when you're playing with more players, people on your team and such, you're, you know, you're going to create this dependency where like, um, your teammates can essentially cover your weaknesses, so to speak. And it's not going to help you grow as much as compared your uh, compared to playing one v ones. When you're playing a one v one, it's pr pretty much your skill versus their skill, and it's going to hone in your accuracy, your decision making, because you're forced in that moment, like playing arena, to just start shooting and all that. So like you really just have to like. Oh my mic was okay. You just really have to like when you're doing those one v ones. It's going to match. It's going to put your skill against their skill and doing a 1v1s like a bunch will just help you out like i did a lot of 5v5s and it was fun like you just destroy a lot of like easy people but then i started doing 1v1s and i would just get destroyed 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 and i'm realizing like, the 1v1s is like that's where you're going to find like the people that are like the really high kill streaks because they're not going to play in a 5v5 random because that's their that's going to increase their chances of losing so I started doing 1v1s, 1v1s, and I did like 50, 60 matches, just like grinding, grinding, grinding. And it has improved my IQ, my accuracy, just moving around. Um, it's just, it's such a, such a game changer. Um, so yeah, if you're like not as good at the game and you're playing 4v4s, 5v5s, just play 1v1s. You can do 2v2s, 2v2s, but like don't go past 2v2s. Play 1v1s and just work on your own skill. You don't have to rely on teammates picking up for your, uh, from your lack of skill and just really hone that in. So that's, that's my tip number two for you. Now, tip number three is one of my favorite ones that I've discovered so far. It's such a good one to use, and I would recommend using this advanced tip. When you're going against someone good, and let's say it's, you know, it's 4-3, you, you have the lead, it's match point, but it's a really close game, or it's 4-4. Four, four. The one thing I like to do is I will like use for like, for like my utility, for my, yeah, my utility, I'll use like the med kit or like the Molotov, like throughout the whole game. And then at the very end of the round, I'll switch to like a flashbang and they won't expect it at all because they're so used to me using med kit or Molotov. They're not used to a flashbang. And so I'll throw a flashbang, they'll come rushing at me, they'll get blinded and then I'll just win the game. It's, it's kind of a gamble in the way, but like in a, in a, in a way it's not because it's like, um... A lot of times they're not going to expect it and you can just really take them surprise. Another example is I'll use my scythe a lot of times and if it's like a 4-3 or a 4-4 like I said, I'll pull out the katana and they'll rush me with like a paintball gun and I'll just like use my ability and they just take like 80 damage and they don't even see it coming. So it's just like when you get in those moments, um, change it up at the very end um, and you can, it's, you can really take them by surprise. And it's not really a, it's not really a hurt. Like you don't really like lose per se 
in terms of like switching your weapons like if you're using a scythe most of the time and you're using a katana as long as you're decent with the katana it can it can catch them by surprise and it can still work out so that's my tip number three is when you get into those very close things um if you're good with other items flashbangs and such katanas um just really take them by surprise switch it up at that um but the key is you don't want to use those pretty much during the game you just want to save it as like a as a trump card that they they haven't seen during that game and then it's just going to screw them up i've had i've done that multiple times and it's getting it's gotten me wins in those close matches so that is a tip number three okay so my tip number four is when you're playing battles and such and in in especially like arena or maybe like construction and you, you know usually a lot of times when you're going against each other you have this first initial pop off you know you just you get some nice you know damage or they you know they they do like you know some damage back to you um what i suggest a lot of times is pull off this quick med kit um because a lot of times once you have that second round if you're like at 100 health per se let's say you took 50 damage from the first little pop-off shot in the first five seconds and then you rush again for your second attack um you're probably you're not going to have time for like a third attack you're probably either going to win or die during that second shootout um, so you, statistically, if you're like shooting right here and you take some damage, um, pop that off, get like 38 and then go into battle and then start shooting it. It will increase your chances of winning. But if you don't do the med kit and you go, you know, let's say they, they hide down, you go rush them, you're at a hundred health and you start shooting at each other. Um, you're increasing your chances of losing while instead you can pop your med kit and then rush again at, for your second time. And then you'll, if they don't have a med kit, especially you'll have like that nice, uh, advantage so just give you some statistical uh, advantages right there tip number five is uh, when you're using a scythe because the scythe is going to be one of your primary uh, melee weapons um, when you're like moving around you're doing damage you can just kind of like um, use your uh, quick melee and then boom 50 damage right there you see that and look it's already boom another 50 damage right there not only does that can help you in those moments where it's like a close battle where you guys are like mowing each other down just boom come in Get a nice kill. And it can also, if it doesn't kill them, it'll still do the 50 damage. But what it'll do, it'll shift you in a different direction. And it's harder for them to hit you. So you're like, you're shooting, you're shooting. You can come at them, do, do some damage. And then they're going to be like taken by surprise. And they're going to have to like move and start shooting. So you can really just, you do 50 damage, which is 33% of their health. So boom, start shooting them right there. Boom, 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 boom. Obviously he's not moving right now, but you kind of get the gist. You know, you can just like cause misdirection and also do damage really nice mobility right there and uh that could be, be potential damage especially when you're like towards the end where you both are really low like that can i've done it a few times where i finish them off by doing that and i get to get the win so it's really nice uh definitely keep that in mind when you're using the site that can really help and it's just like boom like that's a that's a pretty good whoa that's this is my my phone huh geez that's that's insane i'm not even using my phone i'm not even look i'm not even using my phone Oh, wow. That's insane. I don't mean like hit it. That's insane. Okay. But yeah, that is my fifth tip. And then let's go to my sixth tip. My sixth tip, what I like to do, especially this is for people who are using katanas. Um, when people are using katanas, it can be really annoying. I use it myself. It can become useful. I like to use the flashbang sometimes, and this doesn't work every time. But what, it, what you can do is use the flashbang to just bait them. You can throw them up in the air. And then once they get flashed, just listen for them to use their Katana ability. And then after that, you can just learn to just like rush in. And then you don't have to worry about, <clears throat> you don't have to worry about them using their Katana ability on you. Because sometimes when you come rushing in, they will like right now, if I just rush in, they'll just use that Katana and I'll just take so much damage. But if you throw a flash to get flashed and they use their flashbang, you, you listen or they use their katana ability you listen to it and then when you know two seconds go by just start freaking mowing them down and you don't have to worry about them using it so it's nice even though it's like it's just nice it's just nice so yeah those are my uh six advanced tips um the, the, the really most important one is using 1v1s um, to just grow yourself as a player it's going to help you tremendously because 1v1s you're going to have a higher chance of bursting against good people because good people don't want to play different matches with more people because that can uh, ruin their win streaks so higher chance of going against people with, with higher win streaks which means which equals higher skill level which means you going against them is going to increase your chance of getting better because you're going against better people so it's just a math game 
so without further ado please hit that like subscribe if you got any value of this uh yeah just let me know let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks for me and bye bye